So he comes up behind me. I didn't see him at this stage. My camera's kind of 360. He's then, what's, you know, what's that? So I don't, I don't know what to make of it. And I, but I posted this online and people, of course, just went potty about it. So he's, he's creating unbelievable level of danger, to which I said, well, the, the, when was the last person killed by someone doing a wheelie on a bicycle? And I've looked back 30 years. <laughs> I, can't see a, I can't see a single case of it. I could, if you want me to find someone who's killed by a car, it happened yesterday. I was thinking about it this morning as I came towards the studio. Dan, is there, is there a problem with camera two? I heard there's some, some trouble with um, <gasps> morning, uh, morning uh, the situation on the camera. So our sound supervisor, Chris, is actually a BMX champion. He says that's sport, right? Yeah. What about it? Well, so sport now takes place on the roads, on the highways, does it? Yeah. In that way. Seems like uh, it. Look, uh, you're talking the wrong person. <laughs> I don't ride a bike. I've never ridden a bike. Being brought up here on the Euston Road, it wasn't a big thing in my life ever. But um, if I had that person come... I, I'm looking on the other side of the road at that those pictures you took. Yeah. And actually that guy is, I think, touched the other side I, of the I was road. Worried, yeah, if we have a look here, I did, there was a moment when I, so he comes past me. Yeah. And then, as you say, David, we, we see him heading yeah. ahead of me. And there's a moment, three, two, one. He just there, I was a bit worried for him. Oh, but I'm going to oh, say, no, there, there, oh, for no. you. yeah, I'm going to say <sighs> to you that the responsibility is all on the drivers there. Yeah. And so so it, it, if, he, if, he, if, he, if he's smacked by a car, the car is to blame. Well, all I'm saying is that if, I was, if I'd been driving that car, yeah. I would have been quite spooked by this guy coming towards me because yes. it's the old, the old thing about anticipation yeah. when you're driving. Yeah. You've got to anticipate what the other person might, might be going to do. Would That's you have considered the using, using the brake if he'd come towards, come towards you? on your car you use that Richard, no recently. idea i hope i wish i wish i was <laughs> I a mean, better driver I mean, my wife would agree with that. angela you're, you've got a husband who's a mad keen cyclist he's a mad keen does cyclist. he ever pull a wheelie at home i'm sorry we barely know each other <laughs> 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 um the thing is that um that there is a difference between cycling. He actually does a lot of off-road cycling, but we've got all the bikes in the garage and stuff. He's a, and he likes to cycle to work. Uh, and I cycle for pleasure recreationally, but, but off-road. But that, to me, is the peacock feathers situation. And there isn't... I don't recall that there's something in the, in the statute that says it's a crime of reckless cycling. You have dangerous driving, you have driving without due care and attention. Why? Tell me, Jeremy, you know a thing or two about bikes. Uh, why is it that cyclists uh, can cycle with impunity that way and nobody stops them and says, what? you've got two wheels. I don't hop. Thank God I've got two the, legs. The thing Why is, do I, I don't hop. They, the answer to your question is they don't cycle with impunity. Every time you get on a bicycle in any big city in this country, you take your life into your hands because of the appalling behaviour of drivers. So the punishment for bad cycling tends to be death. So yes, that's not course. impunity. Well, so there okay. is actually a punishment. But they, but to cycle like that, just, OK, yes, obviously, they come off worse. It's like saying, I'm going to leave my back door open. I, I'm not going to, you know, if I get burgled, it's a terrible but thing. But he's got it's a skill. Nice. OK, I'm defending this guy. I, to be honest, I was a bit surprised, right, when I cycled behind him. I thought, I'm not sure I would do that. I can't do it. But I'm, there's a skill level there. He probably won't get into trouble on his bike. I'm sorry, and he won't I, hit I, anybody. As a non-cyclist, I need to understand this. Are you saying to me, Jeremy, that... <laughs> Cyclists can never be the cause of an accident. No, they certainly can be, and, and there are certainly bad cyclists. And they every can time, never be a, a whenever I Oh, yeah, but they are. I mean, the guy went to prison for, for hitting yes, someone, but it's, but so, it's so rare. There's two people killed every you know year why? by bicycles. You know why it's so rare? Anonymity. We don't even know who this guy is. If he had something, you know, if he had to have a registration plate... we can plate, find out. If he had to have a plate <laughs> on the back of his bike or his back, the way cars yeah. do... Well, that worked, yeah. If my car was going on two wheels, you'd know who I you're, was. You're right. And, and, of course, cars have licence plates and insurance and the drivers are known. Oh, hang on a minute. They kill 1,700 people a year. So that doesn't work very well, does it? But, Jeremy, it, you can't say just because the stats are obviously against the cyclists because look at the metal, look at the tonnage. Yeah, it doesn't that's mean, it. It doesn't mean that a cyclist can... He should shoot through a red light, or she does, because he knows he won't, or she won't yeah. get caught, because we don't know who they are.